What is up everyone? All right, last video you guys saw, we got the full exhaust made for the K-Series 86. It sounds amazing. And uh, actually in the video, it sounded a little messed up. The car was running kind of, wasn't running too well, but last night I didn't record, I wish I recorded. Uh, I got the E-Fan hooked up, we got coolant and we got it to idle and I have the thing running really, really good right now and it sounds amazing. I'm gonna show you guys later in the video, but for now, big moment is we are bringing the FC RX-7 to paint. As you guys saw, we spent all week basically getting this thing stripped and prepped, ready to get resprayed. So we have a solid foundation for our new drivetrain. And uh, today we are laying the paint down. Did you just whack my S15? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we're not, I, I'm gonna kill the surprise right now. We're not doing a crazy color. We're just doing this thing in white. Well, or are we? Or are, yeah, or are we? But uh, all right, let's get this thing loaded up. Hopefully not lose a caster. And uh, let's get this thing sprayed. I'm excited to see it. Oaks Garage here at the Prevention Team. We got this. Smooth so far. Good thing it's not well there. Hey, Bob. Bob's got mail. Come back, Bob. We might need some help. <laughs> yeah, come back, Bob. Come help us push. This will be interesting. BRZ tripod. Good angle. Is it recording? It's recording. Hold up, get the ass. Oh, stop. This thing's so skinny. What the fuck? Alright, that's straight. Keep going. That was exceptionally smooth. Yeah, that was way easier than I thought. Alright, this looks hilarious. But it worked. <laughs> nice. So we are bringing this to have our buddy Anthony spray it. Uh, we can kind of get away with spraying primer in the shop, just because if one, if it sprays a little messy, it's fine. You sand it out, and two, primer doesn't really spread as bad as paint does. When you spray paint, it messes up the whole neighborhood. So especially white, you'll see overspray for years. For years, and then when you spray clear, oh, everything gets sticky. Not the one my house is too cold. Yeah, Spoon's house is too cold right now, so we'll save his house for the springtime for the springtime uh, paint jobs. Get you a man that could back a trailer up like that. Oh, it looks this good. <laughs> Bendition, Bobby. Bendition. Nice and straight, boys. Nice and straight. It's a big ass booth. You guys have seen us throughout the whole prepping process of getting this thing painted, right? So this is the last step of it. So we did all our sanding, all our seam seal, everything here. Now the last thing we have to do is tape it up, clean it up and shoot it, right? Taping off all the edges that we will be painting, of course, coming down here. This area we're gonna kind of just feather out because we're gonna end up using like an underbody or a Raptor liner for here over. But this will be paint, right? So we're gonna back tape all the holes like this because with the compressed air, comes dirt, right? We don't want dirt. We don't want dirt, so it's kind of a dirtier area. We did clean it up, but if we back tape it, then there's no air going through it and kind of stirring stuff up because it is inevitable, even in a clean booth, that dirt is here. It's everywhere. We got dirty feet. You got a dirty butt. Nah, nah, I hope not. Yeah, yeah. Wash your ass. I wash my ass. Yeah, okay. What are you mixing up right now? Sealer. Sealer. Sealer, yeah. Yes, sir. So if you guys don't know what sealer is, I didn't really know what sealer was until we started painting things, is, well, look at the engine bay, right? There's a bunch of different colors in here between the shiny bare metal, the primer, the Bondo. So when you lay paint over it, the paint 
will have different shades of color. Yes, to whatever you just said. So what the sealer does is it's basically just like a, a thin coat of primer that basically levels out all the color. So when you spray the actual color, it it's all level. matches. <laughs> if you spray a bay without sealer, especially like, like a color like red or something, you'll just see like these little bright and dark spots everywhere. It's good to me. How many different colors are in white? <laughs> yeah. So you uh, pre-mixing everything, so you're just ready to go? I think I'm so used to working with one cup where we have to like mix it, clean it, mix it, clean it. Yeah. This is nice, this is nice. We have all of our chemicals preloaded this time. Yeah. Boom, she's masked up. Final wipe down, Anthony? Yep. Almost there. Almost there. Spoon no paint, huh? Nope. No. No. This one. Good. I, I get to keep the spoon credit. <laughs> Tag Anthony in. He's a better painter than me, anyways. You could get an exterminator. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody that yells at me, this is what you need to get. That's why we got a professional. Yeah, this is why we got a professional. Got a professional. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He knows better than us. Yeah. We're gonna spot etch the bare metal spots. So basically, where we see bare metal is basically just gonna lightly spray etching primer on it, which is a very light coat. And you could also spray paint directly on it. You don't have to prep it. Like we could spray it. It says wet on wet, wet on wet. Right? I'm trying to educate. You know. you know. Yeah, no. This guy. <laughs> very light coats. Nice and light. Now it's time to make this all one color so the paint is happy, so let's seal it. Let's seal it. Sealed. The whole bay is one color. There's no dark light spots, nothing. It is one equal foundation. So when we lay our color down, the color is consistent throughout the entire bay. Sealer is really important, right? Because say you're painting a plastic bumper that's black and a hood that's primary gray. If you spray it with the same base coat, they're gonna come out as two different colors. You see it a lot with like a lot of newer factory cars where the bumpers don't even match the car. It's pretty crazy. But what the sealer does is by spraying everything in the same color as sealer, it guarantees that they have the same foundation and the color will come out hopefully matching. Oh, this is cool. So this is the recommended color sealer for each color? Yeah. Makes sense, darker colors want a darker sealer? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Too easy. All right, time for the exciting part, the base, the color. I mean, it's just white, so it's not that exciting, but it's gonna be exciting to see it once it's, it's done. I wish we were doing some big fancy color, but I don't like mismatching colors to engine bays the cars. No, that died a while ago. It did. It was a thing for a it while. It was cool for I a while. I did a few different colors. It was cool when you pop the hood and you're like, boom, yeah. flash of color. Yeah. To me, honestly, I wanted a red RX-7 FC. That was always my, my dream, but white's good. We could build another one. Uh, <laughs> Ghostbuster Anthony, that's what it is. <laughs> I walk away for two seconds, he's already spraying. In or out? For them. In or out? Out. In or out? <laughs> Round two? Three? Round three. Round three? Yeah. Three coats. It looks so good. All right. I want to look. No, I'm not going to look. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Anthony sprayed three coats of base coat. He wanted to make sure the color was full and rich. Funny though, because the sealer was so light that seeing it in white doesn't look dramatically different. It's gonna be once he lays the first layer clear is when it's gonna feel 
wild, but it does make the whole entire car feel a lot, a lot nicer. Oh, here we go. Woo. Oh, it looks so good. It doesn't hit until you put clear on it though. Yeah. Kind of just still looks a little bit like sealer. Yeah, but I'm happy because uh, our body work looks like it was pretty decent. Did you do a good job in the prepping? Yeah? Yes, very good. What is this? Attack rack. Attack rack, right? Yeah. So it's, it's just kind of like a sticky cloth. Yeah. So if any materials kind of got dusted on the paint. Yeah, this basically is going to pick any dust in the paint job. Okay. Like this, you pick any dust and dirt. So this is what you do between the base coat and the clear. Yeah. Because you don't want this under the clear. Yeah. Inspecting for dust and dirt. No, I just miss spots. What happens is like especially white is called snow blindness Yeah, it doesn't help when the sealer is so light because you can't tell Yeah, that's why normally you'll have every paint or you'll call somebody and like hey I'm gonna come take a look at this real quick because four eyes are better than two And I always like to look at it with a, with a light or something Every spot to see everything is covered clear Clear. Clear it. Clear time. How much clear we're gonna put on it? Two coats. Two coats? Yep. Right now it's like meh. But when the clear hits, it's like meh. <laughs> so probably one of the biggest things that has been killing me in Spoon is uh, what color do we paint the 8.6? Yeah, we were we looking at chips earlier. We changed our minds probably. I, I think I'm, I've changed my mind. Like, yeah, no, I got, I got choices one and two locked in my head. It's just up to you. We, ha we have been digging in this cabinet. Yeah, let me see. This was the this was the reel I think Spoon was playing with. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See that those are the tones you were aiming for. Yeah, I like I like like these. It's goldish green. Mm -hmm. it's green seems like the color of the year to be honest. That's a little too drift HQ green. We we love the boys, but I want something a little soft. <laughs> <laughs> I have been leaning into this palette over here. Yeah, you're a big red guy. I'm a big red guy. Everything looks faster in red. Everyone asking me to convince Jimmy to do yellow, we're not doing yellow. No, the 86, that's not a yellow car. No. That's it. Plenty more cars I want in yellow, but 86 ain't it. Oh, look at this palette right here. Talk to me, boys. Talk to me. I said I wouldn't be against like a nice champagne color either. Look at this. Nice champagne would probably be. It's not, it's not, it's not bad. Not bad. Isn't, I mean, it's nice. It's just nice. I want. I want. Damn. Oh, not wow. nice. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, whatever. We got some. We got a little bit of time to figure that out. Yeah. No. We definitely got some time to think over. But it has been driving us mad. We talk about it. I think daily. Like yeah, daily. You know. Even Anthony said it with the A6. With his, he's got a coupe that he's putting a beams in. It's kept him up. Kept. It, it, yeah. To the point where he's made his own color. I love that. Those are kind of fire. I, that's good. That's what nice. What do you mean against that? It looks like it looks like the blue S15. Don't be commenting white and black. Ugh, no. Stop it. Ugh. Stop it. You know what fad got played out real quick? What? That cartoon looking, crayon looking uh, yeah, paint job. Yeah, like yeah. They ruined it already. Yeah. And I only see, uh, saw it like three weeks ago. I see people for it. It's fire. It's fire. But it's already been done so much that they played it out. Yeah, so if that was your 2023 plans, I'm sorry, boys. Spoon says otherwise. <laughs> That's it. All right, I'm gonna send Anthony in to do the clear because I don't want to keep going in and out, open the door, get dust in it, and mess it all up. So I think the time lapse is going, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see the transformation from out here. Sound good? I'm good. I can't wait. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can see you. You're relieved. No, you don't have to do that right now. Nope. It just sucks, especially clear. On the white. All whites? the little nooks and crannies everywhere. So. I'm not looking yet. Bayaco. Bayaco. <laughs> that one coat or two coats? Two coats. Two coats, so it's yeah, done? That's, that's done. That's it? Yeah. I'm hopping in. 
god, Jesus. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, it's gleaming right now. We got a, uh, a 2023 FCR X7 right here. Better. All that paid off. <laughs> what was that? All that. Yeah, that, yeah, it paid off, huh? Paid off. That's sick. car looks absolutely amazing it's kind of crazy to see it looking honestly brand new um it's such a bright white it, it's so good to see so uh, we're gonna let it bake in the booth overnight bring it back to the shop in the morning and take a good look at it so see you then all right we're about to go run and pick the uh, rx7 up from paint but guess what donnie you what heard it you here? heard it i got the uh 86 actually running good now uh before it was just the tune was way off and it had no coolant now it's coolant maintains operating temp sounds amazing so you know, coolant in this thing you didn't hear me i was i let it idle for like 20 minutes before all right let's go listen to come on, come on, come on. you guys heard in the last video how it sounds but it now it actually doesn't smoke and it's it's a very refined Feel. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, probably. <laughs> Late, we all wanted to go home. I just threw numbers at it and boom. <laughs> my head. This thing makes my head rattle. Ah, that is so good. 4AG hoop. <laughs> It sounds too good. It sounds too good. No more smoke. Hold on, one more for the one time. I've just been doing this all day. I could literally stand, I feel like a kid with a new toy. I just want to sit there. That's good. That Come on, do, good. do it. It feels good. I got it's good it. for the soul. Yeah, you're right, it's good for the soul. Right. There's like a certain RPM where the ITVs just get twice as loud. VTEC isn't on. Wait till VTEC oh hits with fire. Yes. You're done. Oh, we haven't heard shit yet. Oh. Something about being a dude. We like digging holes. We like boobs and ITVs are sick. Anthony says to run it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That poor thing. That so it, what was that? That is so addictive. It's ridiculous. I've been doing that by myself all morning. This poor thing's gonna see nothing but limiter. <laughs> oh my god. It's just good for the soul, isn't it? <laughs> see, where's the, look at that smile <laughs> I now. That. Let's go check this That's thing weird. out. <laughs> Alright, FC cured overnight. Let's go pick it up. And uh, act, it's actually sunny out today, so we'll get to see it in the daylight, which is uh, gonna be nice. Sun's out, but it's freezing. Alright, it always hits different the next day, because it's like a. Boom, where's the light switch? Oh, that's not the light switch. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. Let's check it out. Oh, it always hits Ooh. different the next day. Nice. That's so good. Like when you see the transformation over the course of a couple hours, it doesn't hit the same as, you know, just waking up and. Ooh, but you guys saw it two minutes ago. Y you did good. All right, I'll give it to Decent. you. You did good. <laughs> oh, no, he killed it. It's so different seeing it the next day every time. All right, let's get this in the sunlight. Timber. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. This is the brightest white I think I've ever seen. Especially for not having a pearl in it. Gleaming. Whole channel was me just going, wow. <laughs> uh, all right, back at the shop. Ready? Boom. It's at the shop. Looks great. Oh, yeah. Nice work, Anthony. Thank you. Love that. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, now we have a fresh slate. It's the best thing. I love. This is my favorite part to be at. It's all uphill from here. Uh, the destruction and teardown part is done. I guess I have a million things to paint, trim black, 
do but like this is this is it yeah but you know from here on out every piece that you put on you're yeah. gonna put a little bit of attention and detail yeah. into and when you bolt it on you're gonna say oh that looks nice this is the instant gratification phase that's what i said it's the little shit like you, you put in a battery cable and you're like oh look how nice that looks against the <laughs> fresh paint you know? the fresh <laughs> zinc hardware oh it's so nice like yeah. you're not putting any shitty parts on this now hopefully not. Gonna, if it was shitty we just paint it black <laughs> <laughs> you guys have heard me uh wow and all uh, enough in today's video but this is honestly my favorite part once the base painted it's just like this huge relief is just gone and now it's just getting to work to do what i do best and getting these things in here so uh i'll keep hounding vargas every day about getting that engine done so i'm hoping later this week or early next week we can go down to virginia and pick that thing up and um just go full tilt from there on. Hope you guys liked today's video and the progress we've had so far. It's been a good week and a half of getting this thing together. Uh, we finally were able to sort a bunch of issues we had on Brian's car, I'll talk about later. Uh, we've had a couple small things that were holding us off on getting this thing on the dyno, and I put my time on this weekend and I got everything good. And so this thing sounds amazing, runs amazing, and uh, well, hopefully we can get this thing on the dyno later this week or early next week. We'll see, it's gonna be a busy week, but uh, a lot of fun stuff to happen this week and I'm very excited for it, so. I'm going to end it before I ramble on anymore. Uh, see you guys on the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for, for more content, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Hey!